now we have another question okay so we have another question calculate the so we have we are given this equation first of all this is a half equation because you can see electrons calculate the mass of uh, of NaClO3 that is produced when a current of 250 amperes is passed through the cell for 60 minutes first of all we have current and we have time so Q is equal to IT which is 250 into 60 minutes which we'll multiply by 60 again because seconds so this will be the charge will be 250 into 60 into 60 which when I do on my calculator I get 900 thousand coulombs 900 thousand coulombs now let's calculate the number of moles of electrons we have Q we know F as 96,500 so we know that N is equal to Q over F so it will be equal to 900,000 over 96,500 which is equal to 9.33 moles correct to three significant figures Now we have to calculate the number of moles of NaClO3. So first let's calculate the number of moles of ClO3 negative ions because of course that will be the same as the, as the number of moles of NaClO3. So we know that six electrons give one mole of, Na of ClO3. So this means that the number of moles of ClO3 will be this value over six. So this will be 1.55 moles of electrons. Not electrons, sorry. 1.55 moles of ClO3 negative ions and after that uh, we will calculate now the mass of NaClO3 so this will be N times the relative formula mass which will be 23 plus 35.5 because of chlorine and plus 16 into 3 because 3 oxygen atoms so the mass of sodium plus the mass of chlorine plus 3 times the mass of oxygen which is uh, so let's replace n by 1.55 the 1.55 is correct to 3 significant figures you will use the actual value on the calculator the entire display which is equal to let me do this on my calculator which is equal to 166 grams correct to 3 significant figures so we get 166 grams of NaClO3 so let's just go through our calculations quickly Q is equal to IT so 250 into 60 into 60 which gave us the uh, charge and N is equal to Q over F so we divided 900,000 by 96,500 which was 9.33 moles we divided 9.33 moles by 6 because 6 moles of electrons give me 1 mole of uh, ClO3 negative ions so we got 1.55 moles and we multiplied this by the mass of sodium plus the mass of chlorine plus 16 into 3 which was 3 times the mass of oxygen and to 3 significant figures we get 166 grams so the answer is 166 let's move forward so now we are done with the first topic elect electrolysis and quantitative electrolysis so now we are well equipped with knowledge about electrolysis and we will be able to perform calculations so now we are doing something called electrode potentials now this is a new topic so um, the you can see the definition the standard electrode potential of a half cell is the potential difference measured under standard conditions with the standard hydrogen electrode as the other half cell so uh, let's see what we are talking about here so this, the, the reduction equation, let's write, so standard electrode potential is also known as standard reduction potential. So from now onwards, electrons will always be on the left. And this is a reversible reaction actually. So that's why I was asking you to revise redox. So we get H2. Now the E0 value, which is the standard electrode potential, is, is zero because uh, the, the hydrogen electrode, the standard hydrogen electrode 
is taken as a reference. And as it is taken as a reference, it is given a value of 0.